Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox video. In today's video, I will be presenting to you ACS 2.0.1. So, there has been a couple of updates from the previous 1.7.5. And I'm going to show you the differences and how easy it is to set up. So, let's go ahead and begin by opening our uh, entire file here. So, obviously you have to read me, which we're not going to use because I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. And the only way, technically. So... Let's go ahead and begin with the footstep system, ungroup and sound service. So let's go ahead and move this to sound service. Let's go ahead and move this to starter player script. So this is going to be in starter player, starter player script. And then you can just get rid of that. And then we're going to open the NVG edit. We're going to drag it into server script service. And uh, we can get rid of this one up here. For the tools, we're going to select every single one of the tools and drag them into starter pack. And you can get rid of tools. And then replicated storage. Let's go ahead and move it into replicated. Server script service again goes into server script service. Ungroup and start character scripts. You're just going to move it where it's telling you to. And then we had another starter player script. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And finally, we got workspace. Let's go ahead and put this in here. And we can get rid of the file. So once you have all of these items in the right place, we're going to select each one of them while holding down control. Just like this we're going to select every single one of them and then we're going to right click and we're going to do uh, ungroup and then you just click out and that's all you need to do another thing you might want to enable is go to avatar and set your player to r6 now let's go ahead and test and our entire system should be working perfectly fine So obviously there are some things that have changed from the previous ACS. As you can see, the UI at the bottom is way different. The stances are all very different. The gun models, the sounds, they sound a bit different as well. And then the recoil on them, obviously, goes up all the way. Looks like we no longer have bullet holes. Uh, and for weapons, it looks like it's the same weapons. The only new weapons that I do have noticed are the knife. Flashbang, the grenade, and I believe, I believe that's all the new, new weapons that we have. So all the other new weapons are basically created by other people, so they, are, they do not come with ACS. But let's go ahead and show you how to customize ACS so it's as realistic as possible. So let's go ahead and open, let's go ahead and open, uh, where is it? Is it this one? Let's go ahead and open the conf config and we're going to enable a couple things. Team kill, we're going to keep it as true. We're going to keep this as false. This can say true and then true team tags. Let's go ahead and disable that because it's useless. Hit marker sound for realism. I decide to keep it as off crosser as well. Status UI, we're going to keep that. Can drone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and disable the GPS and med system. I personally don't use it, so I keep it as false. Same for false uh, fall damage, I keep it as false. And that's basically all. That's basically all that we need to configure. And then finally, HUD. Uh, status UI. We are going to find... Uh, I believe it might be this one. This one that says poses or main frame. We're going to set the position and we're going to set it to negative 50 for both of them. Just like that. And we should no longer have the little status UI and we should only have the information from the weapon, which makes it look, in my opinion, way better. And those grenades just sound beautiful. Let's go ahead and test the other one. That's a smoke grenade, I believe. Yeah. Let's go ahead and test a flashbang. Awesome. And I believe those are all the new things that have been uh, 
added also for the menu. Obviously, we're able to breach it with the bomb. And that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do the same on this one. I believe we can fortify it as well, so it's going to be much more difficult to uh, much more difficult to break into. And finally, obviously, we have the door, so we can. Uh, I believe this one we can just open. And yeah, basically those are all the new things that have been added into this new ACS update. Obviously the footstep system and the daytime, I believe that changes on its own. And then I'm not sure if these have any flashlights. I don't think they do. But yeah, that's ACS 2.0. That's how to set it up. And the most, uh, basically the most basic and realistic configs you can use for, for your system. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.